agony on what they have been doing wasnal fulka bi ayunina wa wahyina and now construct the ark according to bi ayunina before our eyes we will be watching we will be giving instructions wa wahyina and our wahi will be coming how long how broad how much you know deep what what how to build it continuous instructions coming wasnal fulka bi ayunina in our eyes we are seeing we are watching wa wahyina and our instructions coming to you through revelations wala tu khatibni fil ladina zalamu now don't address me never address me regarding these people who have transgressed who have rejected innahum mughraqun all of them are going to be drowned now it shouldn't happen that you know your brotherly feelings for your people they are aroused in your heart and then you say oh allah pardon them now no if this has happened it has been decreed now don't address me regarding these people although they might be your kith and kin your relatives maybe your own son maybe your own wife but now you cannot address me and you can not call upon me to have any mercy on them by asnaul fulk and he was constructing the ark Whenever the chiefs from his nation, from his people, passed by him, they joked, scoffed at him. What is he doing? Now you know he has gone mad, absolutely mad. We we doubted from the very beginning that he is crazy. Now he is absolutely mad. On in this region, far away from any ocean, far away from any sea, far away from any big river, and he is constructing such a big ark, such a big boat. Where will it? Where will he float it? Now, no doubt that he has gone crazy. Wa yasnaul fool wa kulla ma marra alayhi malau min qawmihi sakhiru minu. Kala in tasakhiru minna fa inna nasqaru minku. He replied. Now, see the bitterness in in the words of Nuh. If you are joking on us and scoffing of us, scoffing on us today, a time will come. We will be scoffing on you. Come at us, Karun, as you are scoffing on us. For so far, the Lord will make it his azab and yuxi, and very soon you will know to whom comes the torment and the chastisement, which will humiliate him. By the hill, the Lord will make it his azab and a lasting chastisement and torment will come upon them. حتى إذا جامرنا وفارت النور. Thus it was. It happened. Kept on happening until our command came. حتى جامرنا وفارت النور. And the oven boiled out. First of all, a big tanur, a big oven, you know, a very gush, gushing water came, started coming from that. and in other places we know that a very strong rain started coming from the skies and there were from everywhere you know the the earth was uh, you know there were fissures which appeared in the earth and from that water was gushing out and let me tell you hg wells has given an explanation a physical explanation he has written it in his but i don't now fully remember he has written two books on the world history a short history of the world and a concise history of the world in which of them i can't i am not sure but in one of them he has written that this you know big flood came because the level of this area at that time this region was lower than the level of the ocean and along the coast of the mediterranean there was a high ridge and they say it is the case in karachi also some areas of karachi are lower than the level of the ocean level of the sea but because along the coast there is a ridge stony ridge so that protects karachi maybe at some time you know there is some some you know, crack in that ridge and water then gushes 
if the sea level is higher then then that ground you know it will come like anything and it can be from one spot you know a big you know just as tarbala dam for example for god forbid even if there if there is a crack at one place what will happen it will bring havoc so his you know explanation is that the level of this land was lower at that time than the surface of the mediterranean sea and along the coast of the mediterranean sea there was a ridge mountainous ridge which was holding the ocean then there was some you know leaking and then place farat and nur as quran said maybe it's just possible it's just an explanation and then you know the the ocean whole the water of ocean you know gushed into this area and there was a flood over very vast area and it appears from the quran that the progeny of adam alayhi salatu wasalam was limited to this region till that time so that when you know this the, they were drowned so actually the whole progeny of adam alayhi salam was finished except the people who were among hazrat who were with hazrat inu alayhi salam in his ark wallahu alam wa farat tanur kul nahmil fiha min kulli zawjain min kulli zawjain isnain and we said embark in it a pair from every kind wa ahlaka and your own family illa man sabaqa alayhi alqaul except from your family on whom the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already gone wa man aman and all those who have come to believe with you so a pair from all kinds of animals and birds and beasts and so on min kulli zawjain isnain number 2 your own family except from your own family even about whom the word of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already come and as we know it was number 1 one of his wives and number two one of his sons they were from his family because we find it in surah at-tahrim mention of wife of hazrat nuh alayhi salam and wife of hazrat lut alayhi salam that they were you know unbelievers they were with the kuffar and they were you know, punished along with those who were punished and you will find here the story of one of his sons wa ma amana ma illa qalil and people didn't believe in him except only a very few they say they were 72 i find i i feel not even 72 only three of his sons their wives maybe one or two wives of hazrat nu alayhi salam himself and a few servants and after him you know the the progeny of humans started only from the three sons of hazrat nu hazrat ham hazrat sam hazrat yaqis wa qala kabu fiha bismillah majriha wa bursaha and he said now embark in it with allah's name shall be its running its floating and its mooring in rabbi la ghafur rahim verily my lord my rabb is forgiving and merciful wa hiya tajri bihim fi mawjin kal jibal and it was moving with them amid waves like mountains wa nada nuh ibn hu and nuh called out to his son wa kana fi mazlin and he was standing aloof he was not he had not mounted not embarked that ship that that ark he was standing aloof ya bana yar ka mana oh my son oh my dear son you also embark with us wala takul mal kafirin don't be with those who are disbelievers qala sawi la jabal yasmuni min al ma he said no no harm very soon i will reach that mountain i'll you know climb that mountain it will save me protect me from the water قال لا عاصم اليوم من امر الله الا من رحيم he said there's no protection today none to protect except min amr allah from the command of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no protection no protector illa man rahim except whom he shows mercy only his mercy can can rescue you nothing else wa hala bainahum al mauj and a wave intervened between them 
فکانہ من المغرقین اور ہی بیکیم ون آف دوز ہو اڈرانٹ 